from Seattle, Washington. It's week three of the NFL preseason on EA Sports. It's the Seattle Seahawks taking on the Tennessee Titans. Renamed in late 2020, there's a look at Lumen Field here in Seattle, Washington. But tonight we've got a preseason matchup as it'll be the Tennessee Titans taking on the Seattle Seahawks. Brandon Gordon and Charles Davis with you. And now we sit, CD, at week three of the preseason. And this is the one that the coaches probably think is pretty valuable, right? Certainly. This is the dress rehearsal. This is the one where your starters are going to play. You might even game plan a little bit more than you do with a normal preseason game. And then you've got to decide, do you bring them back after halftime and get them going again in the third quarter so they're ready to go when the regular season begins? I'm eager to see how these coaches will handle that. So out come the Seahawks now for their first possession. And they will be led out by their signal caller in his second year of the NFL now. His ability to adjust on the fly is almost unmatched in the game right now because it leads to a couple of snaps per game where you just sit back and ask yourself, how did he pull that off? Opponents can practice and prepare each and every week all they want. But this guy, he is hard to pull out. And he's taken down but able to slip across the 35. One play has him to the 37 here for first and 10. And they'll run. It's Ken Walker. And this will be stopped at the 44. That one good for seven yards. A nice run here early on. It doesn't take a great play call to realize you want to establish a guy of his caliber with runs like this early because they'll pay dividends as the game progresses. Second and three. Open man. That's Noah Fant, the tight end. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Titans 30. A good pick up there, 26 yards. I know exactly what's going to be said about that play from the defensive perspective. What's that? That's why I tell all you guys we need more than one tackler to the ball. He broke the first tackle. Luckily enough, there are more people there to get him down. And the second wave of tacklers is going to get him as they stop him behind the line. It's a loss of four on the first down play. They'll have to deal with a second and 14 now after the loss. Smith and Jigba in motion right. Now he's going to get it on the jet sweep. Oh, this one may need to go back to the drawing board. He's going to be swallowed up right away. They'll get four on second down, but it leaves them with third and still nine to go. They'll come to the line here needing nine yards to pick up the first. Buying time to his left. And they will eventually get him down, but he's inside the five on the way to the three. Big yardage there on the scramble. It gets him a first down. Oh, Brandon, that's a gamer move right there. Facing third down, steps up, calls his own number, and nearly makes the house call. If I'm the coach, I let him take another one right here. Give him a chance to be the first one to hit the end zone after that effort he just gave him. A terrific opening drive has them knocking on the door. First and goal. Dancing. And he is in for the Seattle touchdown. A three-yard touchdown run. And the Seahawks put the Knights' first points on the board as they take the early lead. Solid finish to the opening drive. And look, when you get down around the goal line, you have to account for his legs. We saw it right there. Yeah, that's added dimension to the offense, isn't it? Remember what the offensive line coach told us earlier this week? I told my guys, he's going to run it. We have to make sure he stays protected and give him an opportunity. The kick unit for the Seahawks out there on the field, and we are ready to rock. And from back there, a wise move. He'll just sit on this one, and it'll come out to the 25. 
So now the Titans get their first shot on offense. They are led out by their veteran quarterback hailing from Michigan State, and we like that. It's Kirk Cousins. Not bad for a fourth-round draft pick. Well over 100 career starts now, and the chemistry with his top targets, really on point. They spend a lot of time in practice and after practice making sure the routes are run well, and he knows exactly where they're going to be on the field, and when they get open, he delivers. First and ten, Cousins. And his throw's going to be incomplete. You know, last week I remember asking you, what would an offensive coordinator be looking for week two of the preseason? Now we're in week three. Defensive coordinator-wise, what's he looking at? For the most part in preseason, you're playing pretty basic stuff, pretty vanilla defenses. You're looking for guys that play with abandon, that just go out and make plays. You kind of let their athletic ability take over in order for you to notice them. Clock rolling as we hit the midway point of this first quarter. Now a first carry for Derrick Henry. And he'll lose yardage here. Back at the 41. Two yards the loss, second and 12. Play fake. Cousins. Comes, he's taken down by the Seahawk defense. Quentin Jefferson coming right up the gut. Gets in there for a loss of nine. Tremendous read and reaction by the defensive tackle. And frankly, partner, it's not that often the DTs have that type of easy access back to the quarterback. Never bought the play action fade. with work to do after the sack as he brings his guys up on a third and long. He'll look to throw. And that is incomplete. One first down here, and that's all, folks. Good work by this defense to hold things in check and force a punting situation. On fourth down, Ryan Stonehouse on to punt. And this is away. It's a high kick, and he got all of it. He'll field this at the five. A good return there. Call it 13 yards. And it'll be Seahawk football first and 10. Seattle's offense coming back onto the field, ready for their second drive. This could end up being a pretty big drive. I mean, look, yes, it's early in this game, but they scored the touchdown, they got the stop, and now if they could get in the end zone here again, CD, they could grab an early stranglehold on this one. Yeah, they certainly can, and that's what you're looking for. Where's the advantage? Can you gain it? Can you press it? Now for them, finishing it off, because right now it's out there for them. They just got to go seize it. I can't be sure how much of that was planned pre-snap, but it certainly opens up some avenues for their offense. And if he can stay a threat to break off those kind of runs, it'll pull defenders away from coverage and open up some choice throwing lanes for him moving forward. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. And a nice gain of 21 yards. Now on first down, he'll drop to throw it. Pass complete, George Pickens with it. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. 11 more on that one and another first down. Now back to throw. That is taken in by the tight end fan. And they're going to move it down inside the 25. Walker now on first and 10. He's able to work free for about six down to the 18. After one, seven, nothing on EA Sports. Second quarter now from Seattle, and it is the Seahawks with the football here. Here now, second and four. As they've got it as we resume action. 
Evades him at the 10. And now they're inside the 10 as he's brought down at the 9. I don't think he's going to be shy about continuing to run for first downs instead of airing it out. Here's Walker. And he's going to pull his way down to about the one-yard line. That's a gain of seven, and we'll leave them with second and goal coming up. And he'll turn to the power game to try to get in. And he's across the chalk into the end zone. Touchdown, Seahawks. Max Borgie taking it in from a yard out. And the Seahawks go up by two touchdowns. Another impressive drive. So they're two for two. Two touchdowns, Charles. A great start to this ball game for them. And one of the words has really worked its way into our lexicon is stacking. They've stacked momentum each time out, not only on offense. Between those touchdowns, defense held, forced a punt to get the ball back. And they've played awfully well in this one. Both sides playing at optimum level. The kick unit for the Seahawks out there on the field, and we are ready to rock. And no thought to bring this one out. He'll just go down to a knee, and they'll take over at the 25. The Titans coming back onto the field for their second drive. And they're in a bind early here, down 14-0. Are you worried at this stage or still too early? You're worried. You're just trying not to transmit it to the rest of your team. You want to make sure that they stay positive. But at the same time, you're wondering, how are we going to move the football? What do we have on this play sheet that can work? Get back to basics is usually your answer. And make sure you find the guy who can move the ball fastest for you if you just get it in his hands. Yeah, still second quarter. You get points on the board here. I think you're feeling okay. Here now, third and a yard. They'll try to run for the first with Henry. And he will have a first down as they get him to the ground at the 37. Give him three yards and a fresh set of downs. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Now Cousins. That one's taken in by Spears. Only able to gain a couple there, and it'll be second down. I know it was a gain, but you have to sense probably a little bit of disappointment there because when it's out there in open space, I think they expect to get more out of a play, don't you? Especially when you're getting it to your guy out of the backfield. You're expecting him to be able to create something, be a little more shifty. Yeah, no doubt about it. Good open field tackling held it to an okay game. And Henry's hit. He lost the football, and the Seahawks have picked it up. Inside the 10, and they bring this one back. It's a fumble recovery and a Seattle touchdown. Well, Charles, not only did they fumble the football, but they're starting to fumble away their chances here a little bit. We've got a three-score ball game now here in the first half. The last thing you want to do, partner, is help the other team with what are avoidable turnovers. You want to hang on to the football because you're already playing against a good team. You're just making it easier for them by giving them extra opportunities. Myers connects on the PAT, and that makes the score 21 to zip. The scoop and score, always an exciting play in football, and we witnessed it there, grabbing it off the ground and then rumbling it into the end zone for six. And no effort to bring this one out. It's a touchback. Derrick Henry trots back out there and gets ready to go. Looking for a bounce back. Had the fumble a moment ago that went for a touchdown the other direction. See if he can get back in rhythm. And you have to be very careful about having too quick of a hook with really good players. I did a guy's game in high school where he fumbled three times in the first quarter. Finished with over 300 yards on the night. Later ended up in the NFL. If you've got a talented back, Give it back to him. Second down, Cousins. He'll complete this one to Okonkwo. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. First time they've hooked up here. Good for 17 and a first down. Now Cousins. He's got it complete, Derek Henry. He's in the space past the 25, and he's finally down at the 21-yard line. That one good for 37 yards. 
two minutes remaining in this first half of football. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. Cousins. And he's going to go down here and sack. They push him back to the 34. So they lost yardage and they declined the penalty. There's no logical reasoning to do that. I'm trying to go through this little Rolodex in, in this small brain of mine, and I'm coming up with nothing, partner. I've got zip on that one. Take the yardage, right? Take the penalty. I, I don't get it. I, I don't get it either. These offensive starters still out there in the second quarter. You would think the plan's for them to at least play into the third quarter, if not all the way through it. Yeah, it might go by feel. If they have a really good first drive to start the third quarter, they might pull them after that. If not, might leave them out there a little bit longer, but I'll guarantee you this, they'll be gone by the start of the fourth quarter. Like what I see so far out of this defense because they've been showing their best coverages on third down. So far, only allowed one conversion on a handful of attempts. One area that... Oh, they get to the football. It's blocked. Well, that's always a risk on those longer kicks. You have to drive it low to get it there. That opened the door for a better chance for the defense to get a hand on it, and that's just what we saw there. And even if the odds increase a little bit because it's a longer field goal attempt, it's still difficult to get hands on the football and create a block. Big-time excitement for that unit getting through and knocking that one away. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. Sticking with Walker on second down. Now yeah, this will be good for a pickup of nine to the 46. You've got to give kudos to your offensive line and the guy carrying the ball because they were in a second and long situation. It seemed pretty dire, but they brought it back to third and manageable with that run. They'll try for the first with Walker, and he'll get it out to midfield. Let's see, he'll spot it right in midfield at the 50. And they have the first down with that gain of four yards. Give here Charbonnet. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. So after the loss of a yard, they'll look to push forward here on second down and 11. He's got this to Pickens. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Titans 35. First down, Seattle 16 yards the game there. So looks like somebody's ready to begin the regular season, skipping over halftime here in the final game of the preseason. Here we go. Our starters likely to be out there for the third quarter as we get back underway in this second half. And no fireworks to start the half. This will be a touchback. The Titans getting set to go here to begin the third quarter. And you have to think, Charles, down three scores already. They need to play an almost perfect second half to have a solid chance. And that actually starts with finding some way to put together a touchdown drive here. They need to be smart, fast, efficient, get the ball to the end zone, and do it again multiple times in order to have a chance to win this game. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Again, it's Henry. And he'll power his way forward for about four yards there on the first down carry. Ball on the 40 now. Here's second and six. Cousins now. He'll get this one to Pittman. And he's dropped just before the line to gain. Four-yard pickup leaves him with third and one. So they just need one yard here to pick up the first down. On third down, Henry. And able to pick up the first across midfield to the 47. 77 yards rushing now on eight carries for him so far. Still in search of their first touchdown of the game, but they're on the move. First and 10. Cousins to throw it. And that is going to be incomplete as he led him a bit too much. This could be the start of a nice stand from this defense now for getting walked backwards on this drive. 
come through with another one here, and you have them staring at a third and one. Third down. Throwing his cousins. And the Seahawks defense gets to him, and they bring him down. Barreling in for the sack, Shelby Harris. Looks like another empty possession here, partner. And I don't think with three scores down in the third quarter, they can truly afford any more the rest of the way. No, especially the way their offense is sputtering. I think you're exactly right. They got to find some answers quickly. And problems spreading to the punt team now. This one goes all the way into the end zone on the fly, so that'll come back to the 20. Now we'll see what this Seahawks offense has in store with their first possession of the second half. Meanwhile, they take a shot to start the drive, but this is going to wind up incomplete. Boy, that ball's just hanging up there, waiting to be intercepted. That looked doomed from the start, but they took the deep shot anyway, and fortunately, it winds up incomplete. The throw over the middle, taken in, and he'll be corralled right around the 34. That one good for 14 and a Seahawk first. And while we may be looking at the scoreboard, this offense certainly is not because they're showing no signs of backing down, even with a three-score lead here in the third quarter. I think they keep taking their shots. They've seen blown leads happen throughout this league. They don't want to fall victim to it themselves. Call it a gain of 14 for the second play in a row. Sometimes it's hard to believe, but there are times this game is about patience, isn't it? Has had the game he expected, but that run there, that may get him going. I was just going to say, maybe that gives him a little juice, because you're right, he struggled, especially in that first half. Yeah, and I know the great ones always think to themselves, just hang in there. I'm just one big carry away from Boston this open. That's a good start for him. And the offense moving quickly to the line. Here's the give to McIntosh. Boom! Still fighting for tackles. And he is going to have a Seahawks first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. As we surmise, Charles, most of the starting units still out there for this third quarter. First time this preseason that they played into the second half. And that's by design. Most of the time by this point of the preseason, you want them to go into the half, cool down, and then come back out and warm up to start the third quarter like you would a regular season game. That's exactly what they wanted to get done. So from the 26-yard line, here's second down and eight. Now they'll switch it up here and look to throw. He's going to get this one out to his fullback. So the completion good for seven there. And now one yard to go on third down. Straight ahead, Walker. And he takes it down to the 13 and picks up the first. They get six on the pickup there as the drive will continue. So first and ten, and if they score on this drive, might have to start digging in our second half blowout material. And they're going to get him. They bring him down to the sack back at the 16-yard line. So maybe just a momentary setback on what's been a great drive so far, but second and 13 here. A beautiful thing. And they corral him just a couple yards shy of the end zone. Opted to run for it, the decision a good one. Picking up the first, getting 14 yards on the scramble. Walker will score. Touchdown, Seattle. So another touchdown there, and even though we're still just here in the third quarter, kind of hard now to see them giving up this lead. And this is just an offense that's imposing its will right now. You name it, they're able to do it. If you're the play caller, whatever you want to select is there. You want to run it, you want to throw it, pick a play, any play. They're rocking and rolling right now. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. And this will not be returned. It'll come out to the 25. Try to get one more in here before the quarter breaks. Cousins on first down. Caught left side, Hopkins. And they're able to get this one across the 35. So we'll get the penalty all sorted out when we get back. You're watching preseason football on EA Sports. So following the hold, they're in a bit of a hole here with a first and 20. Now Levis. 
That's complete. It's Josh Wiley. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little game. Second down throw from Levis. Open man is Fitzpatrick. So he'll be stopped here for no gain. And that'll make it third and 13. Now the old pass completion for no gain, not something you want to call up out of the playbook too often. Yeah, most offense coordinators don't have that on their play sheet, so they've got to go back and scramble after this one. But right now, with what they're telling receivers about making sure you take care of the ball in open field, sometimes the fighting for extra yardage doesn't come as a result. That and good tackling can lead to no yards gained. Desperation time now. Here's Levis. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert. And they turn it over. The Titans try it, but ultimately they fail on fourth down. And the Seahawks, they'll get the football back in outstanding field position. And now a first chance for the backup here to throw. That'll be caught by Bobo. And he takes it down to the 10-yard line. 19 yards that time for number 19. So not quite a first and goal. It's first and 10 from the 10. And now a handoff to Charbonnet. A good display of power, but it will only get him just inside the 5 to the 4. And that's a gain of 6 on the first down run. You know what really fires up offensive linemen? When the guy that is carrying the ball behind them can create his own space and break a tackle along the way. Trying to keep those big legs churning, but he's going to go down in the backfield. That'll be a loss of a yard, and it leads to a third down. In search of four yards here to pick up the first down. And he will score. Touchdown, Seattle. Nick Ballore taking it in from four yards out. And the Seahawks have sewn this one up as they add to their lead here in the fourth. Well, where our booth is here, we can see all of the writers to our left. And their post-game stories, Charles, they have been filed for some time because this game, boy, is a lopsided. Yeah, we can see our guy Scoop. He's even got his fedora tipped over his face. I think he's taking a nap now. Nothing left to write for him. But how gratifying has it been for them to see what they've done in practice and carry it into a game and see the execution be so good. They've got to feel fantastic about what they've accomplished in this one. Here's Tennessee ready to begin this drive offensively. Well, it's been a struggle so far for this offense, Charles. It's not only that they haven't been able to put the points up, but really stringing yards together has been a real issue for them in this one. I'm so glad you brought up the yardage because I was thinking to myself, We've seen a lot of NFL games, and we've seen our share of lopsided contests. But in almost all of them, both offenses have put up at least 200 yards in a game, but not in this one. This has been a display of offense that, frankly, I think the two of us have watched from behind our hands, trying to spread our fingers wide enough to actually see the result. Now a toss left side into the hands of his tight end. Down the left sideline. Touchdown, Titans! Josh Wiley, 75 yards. And the Titans are finally on the board here in the fourth quarter. So they will get on the scoreboard here. Give them credit for that. Too little, too late, but no zero. Are you you're going slow clap? And now it's blocked. Now it's scooped up, and this is a live football. But he will not be able to bring this one back in the extra point attempt. Unsuccessful. So even when they get a touchdown in this game, which hasn't really been a, a stellar contest for them, they can't even cap it off and kick the extra point. Yeah, just not a whole lot going right for them in this game. I know that when they get into film, this is going to be exhibit A about how this game went for this team. Oh, we finally score. Can't even kick the extra point. The Seattle now ready to march onto the field. Well, we've reached well, we've reached the stage where it's a it's a mere formality at this point. They've got the comfortable lead. We know what the outcome is going to be. I guess the only question is, do they want to put more points on the board before the final gun? Well, I certainly hope not. And I've been selfish here because you and I have flights to catch. Let's go ahead and finish this one off, guys. You've taken care of business. Let's close it out. And you and I, let's get to the airport. 
Looking to throw on second down. Brown. Brown. And the coverage terrific there as that's knocked out and incomplete. The CD, they're up big, but they're still passing it. I mean, this is an offense that's had a lot of success in this game, and it seems like they're just having fun out there. And it does feel like there's been a shift out there, doesn't it, partner? Listen, if you're up, you can continue to do what you want to do. It's up to the other team to make you change how you do things. They'll continue to throw it around until stopped. The Seahawks moving pretty well through the air. Another first down. So it's Seahawk football as we march toward a conclusion. And they have just about put this one on ice as they've got it here, first and 10. And oh, he took that in one-handed. What a grab. Give him 30 yards there. Even with the big lead here in the fourth, it still bombs away. And frankly, it's working. Why should they stop? Go ahead and keep firing away and gaining those yards. That one looks like he'll throw here. And give him another six. It's caught for a touchdown, and the blowout continues. Well, when coaches come into a game preaching total team effort, CD, I think this is the type of ball game that they're dreaming of. It was pretty apparent early on that they were clicking in all three phases. It's, it's been fun to watch. Yeah, sometimes in the NFL, you end up with matchups like we've been watching here. And when you go back to the early drives, you can just see that one squad was on a different level in this game. Safe to say, we have been disappointed in watching their execution throughout this contest. And no thought to bring this one out. He'll just go down to a knee, and he'll take over at the 25. Out come the Titans now. Well, we said it at halftime that they would need a nearly perfect second half to erase that deficit that they were facing, CD. But unfortunately, the second half has pretty much been a carbon copy of the first. Yeah, that early lead was almost insurmountable the way their opponent was playing a partner. They do have some good news, though. This one is getting close to being over, and they can try and hit the reset button starting tomorrow. Levis now on second down. Pressure comes. He's taken down by the Seahawks defense. Quentin Jefferson, his second sack of the night. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. They'll get this complete to Fitzpatrick. And this effort won't be enough as they rally up to stop him a couple of yards short. They get 15, but they still needed a little bit more. Fourth down. Here's Ryan Stonehouse now as he's on to punt for Tennessee. This is fielded at the seven. So a good punt there, but a nice return of 11 yards. And they will take over first and 10. The Seattle now ready to march out of the field. Well, they don't need to score here, that's for sure. They could just kneel it. They've got the huge lead late fourth quarter, but well, we'll see how they're feeling, Charles. Yeah, we all know people out there who like to use every second of the clock, no matter what the score. And we know they don't need the points. They've scored in abundance already. Let's find out how they want to finish this ball game. And he's able to take this one up to the 35-yard line. And now we're going to get a timeout. Somewhat pointlessly called with three seconds to go in a game that's already been decided. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. And this is McIntosh. And he'll be taken down here, and that is how this one is going to come to an end. Partner, under the lights in primetime, this offense, they gave the nation quite a show, putting up that many points to come away with what will certainly be a memorable win for them. And, Brandon, I think it's as simple as this. Some players, some teams, they're just meant for the big stage. And when they get a chance to play in this type of atmosphere where all eyes are on them and all the lights are shining brightly, they show up and they show out. That'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our hardworking crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, find us on Twitter at EA Madden NFL. It's a win for the Seahawks here as we say so long from Seattle.